that today is game day. Game, game day. day. Peacemaker is on tonight, the finale. God, I've been loving this show. It is so damn good, and it is indeed game day. And guess what? We just got a little bit of a surprise. A little bit of a surprise coming out right now. It has just been announced on the eve, nay the day, nay the dawn of the Peacemaker finale that we are officially getting Peacemaker Season 2. This is on oh, deadline yeah. right now. Woo, big surprise, yeah. man. Let's hear it. Peacemaker Season 2 is coming. This is coming to us from the folks over at Deadline who said this. Ahead of Peacemaker Season 1 finale tomorrow, really tonight at midnight, HBO and HBO Max's chief content officer, Casey Bloys, hinted that a second season of James Gunn's Suicide Squad spinoff series is in the offering. And apparently, James Gunn has come out and confirmed this now. I'm feeling good, so stay tuned. The show has been doing great, Bloys told uh, Deadline during an interview tied to HBO and HBO Max's TCA presentation, looking good. Bloys' comments echoed the optimism shared by Gunn in an interview with Deadline's Hero Nation last month. There's a really good chance of a season two renewal, he said. We're the biggest show in the world right now, which we talked about the other day, which is mm -hmm. absolutely crazy. In the interview, Gunn also revealed that there's another Suicide Squad spinoff series in the works. We're working on something else now, another TV show that's connected to the universe, he told Deadline. I can't quite say. And that's all well and good, and I'm sure that's going to be exciting whenever it comes out. But James Gunn just made his first, you know, journey into television, and he's had some great success because Peacemaker, ladies and gentlemen, is getting a season. How, let's give it up for Yay! James Gunn. Like James Yay! Gunn. Oh. I mean, it, it is huge. This show has been a revelation in a couple of ways. One, it's been a revelation of how far John Cena has come as a performer. He can actually act now. Before, he just got by on his natural charm and charisma and physicality and kind of just read off lines. And, 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 and he did have some good comedic timing, though. But Peacemaker has shown he's actually kind of coming to his own. The dude can act. I'm not going to say he's a great actor, but he can now act, and he's only getting better. So that's great, too. It has also shown us that James Gunn, it's no fluke when James Gunn gives us some wild, bonkers stuff that has actual deep emotional connotations connected to him underneath. Guys, I go back to that one scene in the most recent Suicide Squad. There's this beautiful moment that James Gunn does, and he does it all without words. The group is, the Suicide Squad is driving through town in this van, and King Shark is in there. And King Shark looks out, and he sees this couple, like, embracing and holding each other in love. There's no words. There's no dialogue. And then it just cuts back to King Shark's face and then what he's seeing and back to King Shark. And with the slightest gesture in his face, you knew everything that was going on in King Shark's mind. You knew the lonely, suddenly you know the loneliness he feels. You know the isolation he feels, what he actually yearns for. He yearns for connection and relationship and all that. And James Gunn did that in a four second, three cut shot with no dialogue. I love it when filmmakers can do that. Mm -hmm. And James Gunn has shown, whether it's in Guardians of the Galaxy or Slither or Super or whatever, James Gunn can do that. Within Peacemaker, he's been able to do that same stuff. He takes this veneer of this brash, loud, vulgar, crazy stuff, but then when you get past that stuff and the laughs that that brings, there's some heavy stuff underneath that he's really able to communicate human experiences through preposterous circumstances. And the fact that they are going to give us another season, because I'll tell you what, it's not just John Cena back as Peacemaker. I want Economist back. Yes. I <laughs> want Hardcourt back. I want Judo Master back. I want all these characters. Vigilante. Back. I want, desperately, I want Vigilante back. I, I am so excited for this. Chris, I know you are somebody who really appreciates the show and mm -hmm. you've been enjoying it. What do you think about them announcing that it looks like we are getting a Peacemaker season two? This is fantastic. And just echoing what you just said here, this is such a great ensemble too. They all work so well together. They're so fun. There's not a lot of times when we have a show, there's there's somebody who's a little bit of a clunker, a little bit of a stinker in there. It, it just happens, you know? And everyone here is just doing the most. And I love it. I can't wait to watch more of this. I'm so excited for the season finale. Oh I'm, I'm still so heartbroken over Mern. I'm still just reeling from that so i can't wait to see what we do with this see i'm a combination of excited for the finale tonight and so sad that yeah. it's the finale tonight <laughs> mm -hmm. 
it's no longer we're not gonna have a game day for at least a month <laughs> Game day. Like what? What game comes day. out first? I can't remember what comes out first. Is Moon Knight? Moon Knight comes out before Halo, and Moon Knight is what March thirtieth. Mm -hmm. March thirtieth. March th man, what are we gonna do for a month? I'm gonna have to talk to my wife. I got. <laughs> oh wow! Oh boy! That was the greatest thing in poor the world that Anne. I get to do every day. Oh man! Oh, yeah, poor Anne. 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 Poor That's Anne. Anne. Anne's like, what are we gonna do? I'll get her off. And <laughs> right now it's over there. Oh my God! Peacemaker's over. Now I gotta entertain this guy. What are we gonna? Do? You got. You have the finale of After Party and uh, Space Force Two is coming back. Space Force is coming back? Yeah. yeah. I'm not real big. I love Steve Carell. I'm not real big on Space yeah, Force. Schwartz, that's, that's why I'm But there. whatever. We can start counting down the clock to not only Moon Knight, but counting down the clock to Peacemaker Season 2. Rob, you hear about this. What do you think about it? I think it's great. I think it's great. Look, you know, it's interesting that I think I was disappointed that James Gunn's The Suicide Squad did not get the reception we'd all hoped it would get because uh, I really thought it was delightful for what it was. And this is kind of the redemption of that. Like Peacemaker has 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 justified Suicide Squad's existence in a way. And the fact that it's so wildly successful and so beloved. I mean, everyone loves a show. And uh, I'm sure it's going to stick the landing. So to bring it back, can you imagine what he's going to do with another season of this show? Oh. I mean, look what he did with the first season. I can't even begin to. Uh, uh, it's going to be great, whatever it is. I can't wait for it. Bring gonna, it on. Going to miss having his dad in there, though, as that big. I mean, his dad was just such a great dick character that you can just all universally <laughs> Who's go. To say he doesn't get resurrected as uh, a robot. Yeah, I, you know, who knows? He's the white dragon. Yeah. Maybe he comes back. He built a TARDIS. Like, he can probably. Like, You're right. He's got. He's probably got six or seven clones he, of himself. He's actually got. There. Did you see something was beeping on his costume? Maybe that's a beacon. They're going to come back. And, oh, I'm just kidding. Is it associated with the Ten That was a Cad Bane reference. You know. Oh, oh I got that's really right. Excited. I was mixing and matching my people who've been gunned down in our favorite franchise oh. properties lately. Man, I had so much hope for a second, really. Uh, anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about Peacemaker coming back for season two? I'm very, very happy about this. I have loved this show so much. It's great. Whatever you guys are thinking about it, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a moment and thank a sponsor of today's video, ExpressVPN. So guys, if you've been listening to or following me for any period of time, you guys know that one of my big concerns is often online privacy. And that's why I use ExpressVPN. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking. You're thinking, well, why don't you just use incognito mode? Well, let me tell you something. Incognito mode does not hide your activity. It doesn't matter what mode you use or how many times you clear your browsing history. Your internet service provider can still see every single website that you visited. And listen, it doesn't matter who your internet service provider is. Internet service providers in the US can legally sell your information to ad companies. ExpressVPN is an app that reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so that your internet service provider can't see the sites that you're visiting. ExpressVPN also keeps all of your information secure by encrypting 100% of your data with the most powerful encryption available. And ExpressVPN is available on all your devices. I mean, your phones, computers, even your smart TV. Protect your online activity today with the VPN rated number one by Business Insider. Visit my exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash campia, and you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. That's expressvpn.com slash campia, expressvpn.com slash campia to learn more.